Hey YouTube, <coughs> making a, an update of my garden. We have virtually had almost no rain in the past uh, month, month or so. So normally these green beans would be totally bushed up over here. There would be plants all throughout. This one's a little bit better, but even so, the opposite side there isn't too bad. But the plants would really have taken over, and it would be—they'd be everywhere, and there would be no weeds growing underneath them because they had taken over. So I'm disappointed in this, but the problem is that they haven't had a lot of water. And even though you know I have a hose nearby, I can water them. But just last week, my neighbor's well, which. I don't know, he's probably about 500 yards away from me. Um, his well went dry and he didn't have any water. So that scared me a little bit and I didn't want to use any more water than I had to so I was sort of just watering the plants at night a little bit. But even so, it's been very dry. However, we did have a good rain yesterday, a good soaking rain and a good rain last night. So I also want to show you the inside of my greenhouse here. I have both I tied this morning so you don't run after the bear if they come. So anyway, this is where we are with the greenhouse. Again, the cabbages are they're not real big judging by the size of my hand yet, but I'll tell you what, they're they're beautiful. They really are nice. There's no bugs, moths haven't laid any worms or anything on the cabbage like last year and very nice, coming very good nice and healthy plants, although maybe they could be thinned out a little bit next year. Uh, as far as our peppers go, um, you can see the pepper plants have grown pretty much a lot taller than they were before when I made the video. Um, some nice sized peppers, judging by my hand size. We had cut a couple off already. Um, three nice ones here, a couple there. There's a nice one here coming cut a couple off of this one. There's some here. Um, there's a bunch of them here. This one's even turning red already. And then here's a nice one here. This one's a pretty good handful. One behind it. This is the plant that was sort of lagging behind. It grew a pepper first. We cut the pepper off. But now if you look, I don't know if you can see real closer. This is another pepper coming and uh, I saw another one somewhere on there. Anyway, they're coming. So, with with uh, August just around the corner, I'm expecting some spectacular results here. Now, like I had said with these tomato plants, they did actually reach the ceiling. And I built this thing 12 foot high. And I have people laughing, oh, you know, you built that, why did you make that so high, this, that, that thing? Well, I made it that high because this is how high the tomato plants actually grew. Now, there are some tomatoes turning red, starting to turn red on here. I'm a little disappointed in the tomatoes this year. Uh, last year this time, I had quite a few tomatoes on the vines. The, there are some of them here that are doing well, and others are not doing so well. Uh, I'm going to blame the seeds because I've pretty much done everything I normally do. But I buy seeds from a place called Johnny Seed Company. They're somewhere down south. Let's see tomatoes coming up in there. Um, somewhere down south. And um, they seem to work good. But when you use the ones from Burpee, I don't think they're designed to work hydroponically. I don't think they have in them whatever they're needing for that. But there they are. I promised that they would hit the thing. My faith, I said. And they're up there. So now all I need them to do is start to give me some fruit. So that's the update on the greenhouse. Um, I've been leaving the big garage door open. And uh, my, my wife put a little artificial plant over here, hopefully to track some bees in this direction so they come in here and do a little bit of pollinating for us. Um, actually what you can do as well is 
usually when I come in here I'll take and just shake grab the rope and shake each one you got to be careful you don't want to shake them too much especially the ones that have tomatoes on because you don't want to break the line that's holding the tomatoes but what this does is it helps any pollen to uh, float around and get around a little bit and helps them to pollinate one another I also have an 8 foot step ladder in here so that I can reach the top of this to be able to pick anything that grows like there's some way up there that I can't reach so um, that's where we're at so far I had planted we had cut off lettuce out of these um, five um, little pots here and you can see I planted some lettuce last week and it's already starting to come up so this should be good um, I would say that the peppers and right now today after the rain last night it's not bad in here it's like 70 degrees in here but yesterday it was 98 in here and the peppers seem to tr drink or absorb however you want to put it the peppers seem to absorb about um, I don't know maybe a quart of water a day at the size that they're at right now now they'll as they grow bigger they'll take more but the tomatoes are using um, they get three quarters of a gallon each time I water them which is uh, four times six in the morning ten in the morning two in the afternoon and six at night that's four times a day so they've been using um, uh, a quart of water each time for a long while and now they're actually taking a half of a gallon and even the half a gallon is leaving them by the end of the four hour period it's leaving them pretty pretty dry so we've got to keep an eye on them not that the leaves start to turn or they get put into shot so keep making this um, just hope my well doesn't kick on me although I was a builder many of you know for years and I know about wells and when I drilled my well I had them drill the well so that I would have 30 gallons a minute of water coming in before the driller stopped and I've never had a problem with my well in fact the previous well I used to fill a 7,000 gallon swimming pool every year never had a problem so hopefully Lord will bless me with this stuff and we'll get a bunch of beans other than that a beautiful day in Pennsylvania oh yeah and you hear that nothing but the wind that's why I love living up here okay guys have a good one suppose I let the bees come in don't be chasing them I have a clock on here to tell me when to come feed very happy with the way things came. I have a lot of work to do yet, but now I have some other work I have to take care of or someone else. Okay guys, have a good one. Bye.